There's certainly a lot to like about a posting to Naples. Lovely warm weather, beautiful buildings, the Amalfi Coast within a stone's throw. But when all said and done, it's very different to the UK, and it can take a while to acclimatise. But the British, who work at the Allied Joint Force Command's NATO base just north of Naples, have a number of facilities to make a deployment here easier, like the medical centre. Right, so we're just going to go through the calendar for this for the following week. We have a doctor um, who has clinics mornings and afternoons, and we also have a nurse um, here as well. So the doctor will do the day-to-day -day appointments, reviews, such like, and um, the nursing officer will do um, all the treatments, uh, bloods. If you can just slide your arm in there for me. You feeling fit and well at the moment anyway? Yeah. yeah. I only joined the clinic in January, so I'm the newest member of the team coming from a really busy Naval Air Station. So coming here, it has been a big change um, to adjust to, um, certainly with all of the host nation and the American support that we get. So as a nurse, it's completely different to everything I've done before. The majority of other nations based here don't have their own medical facilities. The Brits benefit from a familiar environment. And in terms of the drugs they're issued, they're the same ones as in the UK. It's just the licensing, so obviously the, um, our GPs and nurses are trained on those drugs and they have to follow a certain formulary. So we use um, what we call a BNF, which is the UK's formulary, which is what we fall under. So we have to use drugs that are licensed in that. In the same building as the medical centre is the British Forces Post Office. Sergeant Gareth Cross, hard at work, sorting the day's mail. British Forces Post Office here in Naples is responsible for all the UK entitled personnel's mail receiving and dispatching. Good morning. Thank you. I'm good. How can I help you today? It is a welfare facility um, and it is very much the, a, a hub for the community. Um, all the families come and um, congregate here to collect the mail daily. Um, it's a, it's a um, visiting point and um, yeah, it's, it's well used. Bringing people together is viewed as vital to prevent isolation and loneliness. And the place at the forefront of ensuring the community's welfare is my next destination. Bridget, very Hi. nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm Thank very you for well. Us. So this is Villa Victoria. This is Villa Victoria. I'm meeting Bridget McGill, the community liaison officer at the British Community Centre, which is based in what used to be the Admiral's House. It really is the centre of British life in Naples, with bacon and egg baps on the go, a children's play area, and today preparations for the British fate. Before people even arrive here, myself and Jenny, the Hive Information Officer, we're in constant contact with the, with the new arrivals. Um, we don't beat about the bush, we tell them what it's like here, we tell them a little bit of the good and a little bit of the bad. So it's not a shock when they get here. We tell them about the lovely driving skills of the, of the, the Napolitanos. Um, so we do everything we can to give them um, a good insight to what it's like here. Accommodation here is of a high standard. Semi-detached or detached properties arranged in what the Brits call parkos, a sort of gated community. Even single personnel have their own flat. The focus of the community centre is to ensure that those here make the most of their time. Take this room completely full of information about all the stuff that's around here to visit. And we've even got information specifically tailored for military personnel and their families, like this sheet here telling you about the Naples outdoor markets, how to get there, how to make the very best of it. And that is what this is all about. Information sheets on some local beauty spots, to the very basics like getting your BFBS TV and radio, to even using the local bus transportation system, which, believe me, can be a little bit on the tricky side. And, of course, your regular info that you get in any hive around the forces world. I think they've got like a lot of um, services available to them. Like, there's, like they have like a youth club here and um, they've got like a big fate on tomorrow. So I think they're trying to like promote inclusion and everyone you know, integrating in the community, which is good. To have a place of your own, just to, to, to look after your family and invite them over and things like that, it's good, yeah, very good. Back a bit, back a bit. In the community centre's garden, they're getting ready for Brit Fate 2017, a major event in the social calendar. It's basically a traditional UK fate with the added bonus of showcasing British traditions and pastimes to the international community. Let's just hope all the tents don't blow away before the big day. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Naples.